So have you ever received more than you bargained for? Our next speaker joined Toastmasters 11 months ago solely to work on improving his business presentations. To John's surprise, he found speaking skills are just the tip of the Toastmasters iceberg. Please join me in welcoming Toastmaster John Schneier as he discusses Toastmasters, the unexpected benefits. <laughs> Toastmasters said are 
reasons we should join. But one thing I don't see up here is, and lose 25 pounds. <laughs> so I'll share with you how Toastmasters has helped me do that. Three things come to mind. Evaluations is first. And I see the person I'm about to refer to nodding his head because he knows that I paid attention. If you went to that website, you'd find out evaluations can be good, they can be bad, and they can be ugly. I have yet to see an ugly evaluation given to anyone in this club. I'll acknowledge I've gotten some better evaluations than others. And by that, I mean I got evaluations that were specific, they were relevant, and they were actionable. I could do something to improve myself. Those are the evaluations I'm looking for, because they can really help me. While it's nice to hear, I really enjoyed your speech, I can't do a whole lot with that. Now, I've been to a number of other clubs, and what I've seen is many clubs don't put the time and effort into evaluations like this club does. And I'm not just talking about the person who comes up here to give a speech in two to three minutes about what you've done. I'm talking about how every member in this club takes the time to write down what they liked, what they think worked well, and areas for improvement in a way that are both encouraging and educational. That's golden for me. Now, the specific evaluation I'm talking about that triggered the weight loss, after a couple of my speeches, I went home and I took all those evaluations, I laid them out. And after a couple of them, I got, John, when you're addressing a group, button your jacket. He's laughing. Because <laughs> he knows I'm referring to Toastmaster Adam. Now, there's pretty much three things I could do with that information. I could ignore it. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It won't matter. I could buy larger jackets. Or, I could get small. Back to where I used to be. The second thing helped me tremendously. Video. You see a video camera right now on that tripod? I've been to nine clubs counting hours. Only one other club have I seen that video the speeches. <clears throat> That's something special in this club. I get to take that home and take a look at how I appear to you, the audience. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I see myself on a video, I'm not real happy. I'm not used to looking at it. I don't know how you guys put up with it. <laughs> and I can't stand the way that sounds. But you know, I took a look at those videos, and they confirmed what the evaluation said. I was not happy with the way I looked. That jacket didn't need to be buttoned. And I could tell I wasn't going to be happy in a larger jacket. I had to do something about it. The third thing came from speech content from the meetings I've been at. How many of you remember Toastmaster Jeff Hoffman coining the term accountability? 